Hey everybody, uh, I'm back. It took Ghost Ship dropping a new game to do it, but I'm finally back again. Uh, how you been? How's it going? So to recap really quickly for those of you who are somehow still not in the know, Ghost Ship Games recently had a live stream they did, a On the Horizon live stream where they announced some things that are coming in the future. And the big announcement that they had was that they are working on a brand new game, Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core. We don't really know too much about this game, aside from the fact that it's going to be a roguelike or a roguelite, and uh, it's going to be set in the Deep Rock Galactic Universe, as the title probably implies. Obviously, this is really exciting, and uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this game. Although, this isn't actually what most people are talking about, or at least it's not the main thing. We didn't actually get a lot of information about Rogue Core, other than, you know, it exists. So, the focus has instead been pulled to another big announcement that really has the community kind of split in half. So the issue is, obviously, making a brand new game is taking a lot of development effort. And so they are now shifting their focus away from Deep Rock and on to Rogue Core. Uh, this doesn't mean that Deep Rock Galactic is gone. They're still working on it, but they need to put more of their focus into Rogue Core right now, and because of that, Season 5 is getting delayed till June of next year. So because of this, there are now two sides in the Deep Rock Galactic community. One of them is the Toxic Positivity community that I've complained about once before in a previous video, and the other is the Toxic Negativity community. Now based on my previous video, you might have some assumptions as to which side I would join, but I do want to actually come out here with a bit of a nuanced take and say that I'm not really on either side here. For the most part, I've already said my piece about toxic positivity, so for now I want to focus on the other side of the coin. So while there definitely are people saying that, you know, you can't criticize the game because the devs have been so good and all that, there are also people saying that the game is dead and Deep Rock Galactic's been ruined and everything's terrible now. and that's just not true. I'm kind of exaggerating the toxic negativity side of things a little bit, but still, there are people saying the game is dead and that uh, everything's going to go downhill and that everything's going to be terrible now. And like I said before, the developers are not abandoning Deep Rock Galactic. The game is not dead. It's fine. It's just going to be in a weird space for a year. Just like how I think that saying that you can't criticize the game is not helpful, saying that the game is dead also isn't helpful. If anything, you're just harming the game. You're actively pushing away new players by telling them that the game is dead. Deep Rock Galactic is not dead just because it's not going to get updates for longer than expected. Now, I do want to hop back over to the other perspective for a little bit and say that I do think it is unfair to tell people to stop complaining. Obviously, this is really disappointing news. You know, I don't really think there's any way that we can spin this into a good thing. You know, I I'm glad that they're working on a new game. I'm really excited to check it out. But going for a full year without any new real content for the game, it's going to hurt. It really sucks, and I think that people should be allowed to complain about that. I think it's totally fair. I understand that there isn't much the developers can do. There's no real solution to this problem, which makes it suck all the more. But I think people just need time to complain about it. That being said, I think that, uh, you know, there's a limit to that complaining, right? Like, if we're going six months from now and people are still complaining, I, I think there's a point where we gotta let it go. So, you know, just... Let people have one or two weeks to whine and moan about this, and then at that point, I think then you can tell them to stop complaining. So let, let's just let people have their reaction, and then move on. Now, I did also want to move away from community reactions and talk about a few other things, and one of them is kind of going to my points I made in the past about the season format. Specifically, what I wanted to talk about was how reassuring this honestly was about my concerns with Season 4. Uh, I think that this kind of offers a bit of an explanation as to why Season 4 was so lackluster. They were apparently working on this in the background for a while, and it was originally intended to be a new game mode that just spiraled out of control and became its own thing. So it is kind of reassuring that this was taking up some of the uh, processing power as it were and uh, might be what made Season 4 a little bit weaker than I would have liked. Although, on the other hand, I did see some points in a Q&A they did in a recent live stream. Uh, I'll put some uh, stuff up on screen and I'll put some links in the description to reference what I'm talking about. But apparently, Deep Rock Galactic, the days of getting big content updates are over. And that is something that's really disappointing to hear. So 
Uh, I think that uh, the seasons are going to be very small here going forward. Obviously, you know, that's not what you're hoping to hear, but I, I guess it does kind of set expectations going forward. I do wish they'd been a little bit more forward about this, because unless I miss something that did not really seem like it was going to be the case, at least I, I guess there was no real indication of that. Maybe they said something in a previous live stream. I don't really watch many of the live streams because they happen just way too early for me, so I, I miss out on a lot of news, but while it is disappointing, at least kind of we know now that the seasonal updates are going to be very small in comparison to what we used to get. The only thing at this point that I'm really hoping for is that Deep Rock doesn't fall into Minecraft Syndrome, where the new updates just are constantly adding new stuff and not really building on anything. I talked about this in one of my previous videos, but the season content doesn't really build on itself from one season to the next. It's kind of just new additions uh, popping up and I, I feel like that's not really the best way to go about things. I feel like there are some things in Deep Rock uh, that are the part of the core gameplay experience that need to be focused on. Perks definitely need a lot of work done to them, and I feel like they could stand from a full rework, although they said that they're not going to do that, which kind of sucks. I think that perks need a lot of tuning. But Sniss also made a video where uh, he mentioned uh, how deep dives could be changed, and I actually haven't done deep dives for a long time. Uh, for the reasons he brought up in his video, and so I'm not going to repeat his points here. I know it's kind of lazy to make you go watch another person's video, but uh, I'm not going to just steal his bit and uh, just repeat what he said. He's got his points about deep dives there, so I would recommend you go watch that. I feel like deep dives, they don't need a complete rework, but I would like to see more unique stuff for the deep dives, just to make them stand out a little bit more. Because uh, right now there's a lot of repetition and they don't really feel all that unique aside from Oh wow, you're doing three missions back to back. Unfortunately, I guess that whole discussion is going to have to wait until June of next year um, when the season 5 is coming out. But I just thought I would quickly bring that up since it's something that's been on my mind. Uh, with all that out of the way, I think I do want to briefly talk about what my thoughts are on Deep Core. I, I mentioned a few times that I'm excited for it, but... I haven't really said too much, and it feels kind of weird leaving, you know, the new game for last, but we really didn't get that much new information about it. There's a couple of vague screenshots, and I mean, it's still in development, so a lot is bound to change, uh, but it's kind of hard to talk about something when we just don't know anything about it. That doesn't mean there's nothing I have to say about it, though. Uh, I've been really interested in the concept of a Deep Rock Galactic roguelike for a while, just because so much of the game lends itself to that really naturally, and we've kind of seen that with the spin-off Deep Rock Galactic Survivor made by a separate studio. Deep Rock is a game that could really easily become a roguelike, and it's really cool to see the developers exploring that. I'm especially excited by the implication that they might be expanding the universe with this. Uh, you guys know that I'm a big lore guy, and I know I'm probably setting myself up for disappointment because they really don't care all that much about lore, and that's not a bad thing, but it does seem like here they have the potential to really build some stuff up. Honestly, my biggest number one hope is that they have a fully grown Dreadnought. That's like the one thing I want lore-wise, really, above anything else. It'd be cool to get more dwarf lore, but uh, just seeing the possibility of uh, a fully grown Dreadnought and fighting against that as a boss would be really awesome. Aside from that, there isn't too much more for me to say, other than, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing more, and hopefully we get to see some more soon. The developers have said that they want to be a lot more open going forward, and that's honestly really great. Just being able to get more of an insight into what's going on would be super helpful for kind of clearing up this divide I felt has been growing between the developers and the fans. Uh, it wasn't, you know, huge, but I do kind of feel like it was hard to get a picture for the direction they wanted to take the game in. And uh, now we have a lot better of an idea, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to have a better idea as they continue to share this with us. So, with all that being said, while this is kind of depressing news, I hope we can all look forward to what the future brings, and we can all tough it out and rock and stone just a little bit longer until we get to the future. And in the meantime, I actually really recommend you check out some of the games they're publishing. Uh, I played Spell Rogue a little bit, and there's a free demo of it, and it's just really fun. I don't know if everybody else likes that genre, but if you're interested at all, pick up the free demo and try it out. It's super easy and super fun to get into. With all that being said, I'll see you guys next time.